Whatever happened to soapboxes? Real people, real debate. Like the Tories yesterday in Scotland and no doubt the SNP next week. It's all synthetic triumphalism when it's manifesto launch time. Nationalism didn't create our National Health Service. Nationalism didn't create our welfare state. All of that was done by Labour governments. And more often than not, it was opposed by Scottish nationalists who now seek to steal our clothes. Abolishing zero hours contracts, abolishing the bedroom tax, a thousand more nurses, 500 more GPs in Scotland and all paid for by a mansion tax. But somehow it's just not working yet with 20 days to go. There's no getting away from the trend of opinion polls which show very bad news for the Labour Party in Scotland at the hands of the SNP. What's gone wrong? Okay. Well, I said before, Alex, that the Scottish Labour Party hasn't been good enough. And I said in my speech that we're looking at our economy, our country and our party with fresh eyes. You see, sometimes politicians do answer a straight question with a straight answer. But outside this room, do punters look upon Labour with fresh eyes? We took the manifesto outside. Could I interest you in that? Would you be interested in reading that? No. No? No. I used to be a Labour voter, but not anymore. Really? What's yes. changed for you? Just, I don't agree with them. No? No, what? shove your Labour up your Well, apart from shove it, shove it up your it's OK. Did you used to vote Labour? Yes. Right. So what's changed for you? Well, I think uh, Nicholas, uh, Sturgeon's good. Nicholas Sturgeon. She's yeah. made the difference for you. Yes. Once a Labour stronghold, of course, there is still hope here for Labour, but goodness me, it's thin. The country's on its knees as far as I'm concerned. It's about time Labour get back into power. But is Mr Miliband strong enough? I think it'll still be Labour. Labour strongholds. Won't change. Won't change. Really? Protect her. And what you take from all that is the scrap that the Labour Party faces across Scotland. They're going to have to fight for every flat, every house, every tenement, every vote in this election. And all the time south of the border, Ed Miliband firefighting the allegations that somehow, somewhere, somewhen, with some person, he will end up making a deal with the SNP. That's what brought the debate to life last night. Is it the case that you would rather see David Cameron go back into Downing Street than work with the SNP? No, the Surely that cannot no. be your position, Ed. No, the difference is, Nicola, I've fought Tories all my life, unlike the SNP, which presaged a Tory government in 1979. <laughs> Nicola Sturgeon was campaigning in Irvine today, buoyed again by the latest polling results. Managing expectations now looks like the biggest problem for the SNP. Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Glasgow.